so okay to reach out. Like we all need each other. And like, it's, it's so key to, to reach out. If, if it's not your friends and family, which are amazing, mm-hmm. um, it, it's a professional who it's probably, sometimes it's better to reach out to like a third party who doesn't know you at all. Yeah. Um, I called a mental health number for the first time during quarantine. Yeah. How was it for you? And um, it was after Family Feud. Oh, really? Yeah. I was overthinking like how, what I said on the show. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is the day, the day that we filmed it. Mm-hmm. I had a, I had an anxiety attack for the first time. Oh, really? Um, like, yeah. And I was, I call, I reached out and I called a mental health number. Um, and I was like at like 2 a.m. outside crying, like yeah. sitting on the floor. That's how it happens sometimes. Like just, that's what has to happen. And I was, I was telling this lady, I was like, so I was on Family Feud and blah, 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 blah. And she didn't understand what I said. <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. I'm trying to vent. Just listen to me. <laughs> she didn't get it because who says that? <laughs> Oh, that's true. Oh my God. They probably thought you were like having a psych- psychotic break. <laughs> he didn't, I don't think she like understood. Like okay. I was on a TV show and then I'm feeling this because I'm overthinking what I said on the show. Right. And she's like, oh, you were on, you were on Family Feud. Like, because she, who would get a phone call? I, I was on Family Feud. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, yeah. like who, know, who knows the kind of calls they get. But it's, it's, it was just, I, from all like social media and like posting and like just pe- people being so open about it, I felt comfortable to call. Good. Oh, I'm glad it's working. I call, I've called numbers before. Um, I have one through my school that I called and they're like in the States somewhere. And I'm like, hey, I'm here in Canada, like depressed. <laughs> um, but they do a really good job. And I mean, I commend them for what they do for sure. I could exactly. not do it. I would like start crying on the first day. Wow. Yeah. But I mean, you have to, like, you have to, like, hit kind of like a low moment to get yourself back on track. I feel like I actually, see, I had um, a pretty tough year last year and 2020 came in and said, hey. Um, But (laughs) I faced two back to back traumas and then went off to university. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so that was pretty rough, and I kind of, I went through a six-month nervous breakdown, but I'm, like, so happy with who I am now that it's, like, it was worth it, almost. And you're, well, you're stronger because of it. You grew through a tough situation, and you learned through it about yourself. Wow. For sure. Wow. Yeah. Well, good for you for putting a show like this on and, like, making it a topic of conversation, mental health. What does body positivity mean to you and how do you wow know? these questions let's go <laughs> deep talks exactly <laughs> i love that the more i'm getting into like mindfulness mm-hmm. like learning about it um the more that i realize we're all just souls like our body we're in we're in these bodies but like our soul is really what matters so like obviously it's like it's what on the it's on the inside that matters um I've been um you know like a dancer my whole life so body image and things like that like have ha- have been on my mind for my whole life um yeah, I talked about this on uh, the second episode on another episode um I took a year to train specifically in ballet and technique and I had an eating disorder before that and I was actually able to overcome it through doing it Wow. Which is like something so rare, especially in ballet and something that's like so like, cri- like yeah. But I, wow. I was able to like from like before and like after, like somehow I was able to overcome it. Wow. Good for you. That's incredible. Yeah. I think it was just seeing my body work and like, yeah, I just love it. And like seeing Good. myself as a ballet in the mirror. I love that. Good for you. Um, yeah. It's, it's, being happy and confident and loving yourself if there if there are certain things that you're really feeling that you're not happy with and like a hundred percent there's things to do i've recently the past few months i've been really watching what i eat i've been eating super clean i've been working out every single day 
and it, it feels better for my mind. You know what I mean? It all works. Body, mind, soul. It's so important to like connect all of them together. So I've like been kind of in the same boat. Cause like, um, like I kind of noticed that like, if you push your body, it will give out and it will let you know. And so I've been like working with that. Um, like I said, like, like when I had the seizure and like, that was one of the things that triggered it was because I waited a whole day to eat, which was really stupid. Do not do that. And uh, my body just like completely let me know. And since then I've been focusing on like my eating, I've been making sure to eat three times a day. That's like the one thing that I have to do every day because I know mm -hmm. that like the repercussions of what will happen if I don't. Right. Wow. Good for you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, like with, with body image, it's, it's, you, like, to love yourself 100,000%, you've got to love every part of you. Yeah. So, it's, you know, look at Lizzo. Look I at her. I love girl. Lizzo. Oh my goodness, I love her. I want to meet her so bad. He's unreal. Like, her. and look at her go. She look just is her go. confident in exactly. I love, I love her. I love her energy. She is. Look at her body po positivity, confidence, and everything. Like, it's unreal so like Don't let anyone tear her down that's right she's such a positive influence <laughs> i mean yeah she's kind of like in no clothing whatever but that is the that is the influence that she's making like she is just showing that like you just own yourself just own it like, like like you have to be confident in yourself to not to like like the less clothing you wear the more confident you probably are for lizzo yes <laughs> I mean, I mean, for me too, kind of. I yeah. Like, yeah. For me, it's like, like I, like I used to like hate my body, and I would do everything I could to cover it up. And now I'm like, kind of like experimenting with other clothing pieces, and I'm like, girl, you work. That's right. Yeah, it's doing what works for you. If if like, you gotta love yourself a hundred percent. So like, I actually, I actually had my nose done ten years ago. Really. It'll be 10 years on December 23rd. Like That's great. 10 That's years cool. hard. So I was 16. So okay. a decade of feeling 100%. I feel like I can take on the world. So, you know, I, that was a thing for me that like, I was not happy. I was not happy and I was bullied and I just couldn't, my insides couldn't shine. Yeah. I just wasn't, no, I, I knew I was getting it done for years. And um, yeah, once I had it done, it 360'd my world. Yeah, that my whole personality could finally shine. So I'm on a side where, yeah, I did make a change and it skyrocketed for the better. It's I'm on TV. I've met so many people. I was just say, the, those like, bullies, where are they now? I was just going to say, they probably feel real stupid now. Yeah. Right. And it's just like, I made, that's a decision I made. So yeah. my friend lost a hundred pounds. Yeah. Healthy. And he feels on top of the world. And then I have another friend. Wait, wait, who wait. healthily lost a hundred pounds, right? Healthily. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I have another friend who's like, who's like, yeah. I have another friend who's like bigger and she's freaking owning it. Yes. Oh. I love seeing that. I love, love seeing that. I love too. That. So body, like body image, body positivity, you have to love the skin you're in. Yeah. If there's something that you can't feel yourself until like, unless you do something like my nose, you make that change. You can, you can choose to lose that weight. You can choose to, you know what I mean? Choose happiness. And if that's what's going to make you, but the other, the other, the other side is, is Lizzo is, own exactly head to toe who you are. <laughs> so yeah, it's a very interesting conversation and there's two, so I have two sides to it yeah. that you make your choices of, of how you're going to live your life to the fullest. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have a little like birthmark here. You probably can't see it cause I like put makeup over it, but I like wanted it removed so bad. When I was younger, um, like when I was 16 too, like I saw a dermatologist about it. Um, she said I'm the prettiest. Um, <laughs> and, um, but yeah, and, but I've, I've like kind of moved past it and it's like, it's not 
something so big it's not something that drastic but it's like no I totally get like with the nose job and like I like girls who get boob jobs and like it can just tear your self-confidence down and once you make that change it can totally just change your world and I think that's I I like I'm for that so I'm all for that. If it's gonna make you feel like you can take on the world like you can feel 100% yourself yeah yeah but on the other side I appreciate so much I have I know people who have bigger noses who didn't get them done and they own it and I'm like yes girl yes 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 exactly they just were like this is exactly who I am let's go let's go I love that yeah see and one of the reasons I decided not to get it removed is because my mom was like that, like that's you like that like if there were ever like a clone of you that's why I would know it was you and I was like <laughs> oh that's so sweet I love that but no, yeah <laughs> that's that's amazing yeah I mean I'm in Alessia Caro's music video yeah you, like, like come on. Scars, scars you're beautiful right I oh that song makes you, you should, like you you need like you're beautiful just the way you are yeah, yeah exactly that's I I want that tattooed on my forehead. <laughs> How do you generate your confidence? Because I can just see it. It just like shines through you. That's so nice. Like your confidence gives me confidence. Oh, I'm so glad. That's so nice. What do you mean? I don't know. It just gives, seeing you be so confident makes me want to be confident. That's so nice. I've been asked that recently, actually. And I like, I have to really think about it. Um, and with doing all this reflection with like this manifestation course, um again a big part of my confidence is dance um it is still even though even even if i'm not dancing right now having all those hours to perf not perfect but like to to know that i can call myself a dancer like that instilled confidence in me my upbringing i had a really encouraging upbringing you can do this you got this with with everything i was doing um and confidence now a lot of like like body image stuff like that like I I've been working on continuously like my confidence even if I'm not wearing makeup that's something I'm working uh, on. yes we love daily. that daily I've been working on it um yeah it's just like I think a lot of my confidence as well came from um the past five years of me running around the city like you know, doing, I was a magician's assistant. I was a, it was in a circus company and like, and I was MMBAs and I was on tour and like this cheerleading and like all these things that, that each piece along the way gave me more confidence. I got the, I booked this job. I did it well. And all these different things kind of, but dance started that because I was a dancer for five years, like running around the city. Cause like, yeah. So that, that first initial confidence, boom, into this again, I like, like, my, I worked on my look. So, you know, putting myself together and feeling a hundred percent on the outside helped me have my insides glow and just, you know, like I've, I've worked on like little pieces along the way, my personality, how I interact with people, um, like inside and out, I've really worked on, um, to, to just feel a hundred and take on the world a hundred percent. Um, yeah, so a lot of different steps along the way, but I'm, I'm really interested in confidence because of yeah. how like I feel, I yeah. want to help others. So I, I literally want to do more research on the science behind it. I'll, let you really know. I'll, 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 I'll send you my notes. Please do. So yeah, there's just things along the way that I've learned that like, you know, take, take me continuously to the next spot, um, where I feel a hundred percent. And yeah, it's inside and out. It's yeah, again, like working on who I am and I love, you know, bright colors and like me too. The bright like me too. lipstick, you know what I mean? There's certain things where I'm just like, this makes me feel so good. Let's go. Let's just take on the world. What's your favorite color? Red. Red. Okay, sick. Mine's green. Mine's like neon. Oh, green. your background. And I have the little and okay, this is like the craziest thing. So see, I started, I was like interested in becoming a mental health advocate when I was 13. And I was like, hey, wow, there has, to be, there has to be like an awareness ribbon, right? My favorite color has always been green. This is the color of the awareness ribbon. 
And that's oh, that's beautiful. Kind of like, oh shit, I can't back out. I love that. Yeah. Do, do you feel confident? Do I feel confident? Yeah, absolutely. And I feel yeah. like I'm so glad that I can say that because I remember when I wasn't and it was just awful. Like I used to not be able to look at myself in the mirror. But now I wow. can now I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, I'm go girl. Yes. Um, so what were your steps? Well, I mean, I can totally see dance as a thing. Like I said, like I took that year um, where I overcame eating disorder through dance and seeing myself work like that and seeing my body like do like what I love it to do. Um, and like, I also like through dance, I was also like, I guess like it kind of, it gave me the confidence to go out and do other things. So like with Humber Dance, with the Humber Dance Company, I was able to choreograph my first number that was a mental health number at the end of that year. Um, it was a cross between Logic's 1-800 and Breathe by Ariana Grande. And, um, and I had people like crying in the audience and people who were like, like, keep doing what you're doing. And I was like, okay, this is like great. And so it was like, I can totally see the thing through dance too. I'm like, it might like kind of the same. Dance really helped with, yeah, like just confidence overall, body confidence, like you were saying. Um, any, I think a skill that you feel like you're good at in general, basketball, painting, like yeah. even if you take it up and you start it at a, maybe at an older age yeah. um, and you, you work hard at it, guitar, and these mm. owning and realizing that you are good at a skill, that is huge confidence builder. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I remember cause like, cause like I didn't really, um, have the chance to like really train when I was younger um but I have been taking it on now um but like I like anytime it was at school like they mentioned anything about dance I was like okay everybody move out of the way this is my time to shine get lost <laughs> and, the, and the it was yes. really cool, cause, like all the teachers knew that too um there's like video of me in like grade one in the front and I'm just like doing what I'm doing and everyone else is like I don't want to be here but I'm like I'm a star <laughs> I love that a big a big piece of confidence is to have a great a great quality people around you that believe in you wholeheartedly and you know if there's people that don't ain't nobody got time for that like no that cut them out a strong circle around you and that will boost your confidence for sure I definitely noticed that too and like last year because of like this the headspace I was in I couldn't connect with anyone and I'm, like, someone who, like, I will make friends with the person as soon as I meet them. Um, but, like, I could not connect with anyone. And, like, I was, like, what's going on? And it was, like, my headspace. is There's, like, this whole combination. What advice can you give to people who are struggling with their confidence? Beautiful or question. Their confidence or struggling to use their confidence? I, I really think, I mean one of the first steps would be like we were talking about before flipping your mindset mm -hmm. instead of, Oh, I don't want to do this today. I get to do this today. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want to, Oh, this thing is meh. Oh, but it's look at the beautiful side of things. Um, really flipping your mindset. Um, and there's so many different ways to improve your confidence. And, and like, I, this is the thing I want to like look into this more because I've like been through it, oh, like growing it. I'm like, I'm like your, I'm an unprofessional like psych researcher. So I got you. Let me know. I want to know. I love it. Yeah. It's, it's taking the steps, find a skill. Well, you know, wear your favorite clothes that make you feel amazing. You know, put, put yourself together that where you feel a hundred. Cause even like, you know, there's some days where like you're in sweatpants and no makeup and like, that's really cool. It's chilling. You're, 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 the, you're still chilling, but putting yourself together, that can just take your mindset. Like you're ready to go. Um, that's something that like I'll do if I'm like, especially depressed, like sometimes I'll like get up, I'll do my hair, I'll do my makeup. Even like the, like, like today when I was doing my hair and makeup, I have a specific playlist. It's like my RuPaul playlist. I'll play it while I'm doing my hair and makeup. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Posture. Posture. This compared to this little things can just like implement like like body language like if there's so many things self affirmations are amazing like whether you say them in your head you say them in the mirror or you write them down like i am talented 
I'm strong. I'm kind. I'm caring. Like these things are so important to I tell yourself. Here. Most people don't. It's 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 kind of a weird thing to do, but it's really important. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like like um doing doing things you love doing builds confidence. Um, you know, hanging out with friends boosts your mood. Um, or just like even if we can't hang out with them in person, like just you know, reaching out and um yeah, like accomplishing something, accomplishing something, cooking, doing an essay, like accomplishing it, that builds confidence too, right? There's Absolutely. there's a lot of different things to do and say and like to that and yeah, inside and out, there's a lot of steps to take to slowly get yourself to feeling 100%. Yeah, absolutely. And actually one of the things I did um like with the to I guess like rechange like the positive kind of attitude this like semester for school has been like absolutely dreadful, but uh, my campus is gorgeous. There's a river going through it. Um we have a drumlin which is like this big like hill forest thing and there's trails going all through it. And um, like, there's just lots of like outdoors, just like, it's like beautiful. And so I go up to campus and it also like for that. And it also reminds me why I'm there and like, like why I want to be in school and like learn. And so that's definitely how oh, my right. attitude and staying That's positive. the thing I was going to say as well. Gratitude is extremely powerful. That yeah. helps with confidence too. It really does. Of, you know, like, um, like, okay, this semester sucks. Yeah. But my family's able to afford schooling. Exactly. I'm it just so humbles you right back out of like, okay, let's flip the narrative. Let's flip it to a positive. And then you, that's just elevating it. Just, you just feel better. Like, yeah, it's like I, I, suck when I have I'm all school. fingers, I'm all 10 toes. Like that's, yeah. that's a piece of confidence right there. Kind of thing. Yeah. And you don't, it's like, it's like, or yeah, it's, it's, and it's like, some people some people don't have arms some people don't have hands and even those people like you need to just they they need to also how do they feel confident I I saw a dancer who she had no arms and she just like she like hopped into like each like she had like different pairs of dance shoes like set up and she kept jumping into them and just like worked it and I was like wow someone signed her already like someone signed her to a company already that's what I'm saying I will come in and advocate for her she, she has a physical, like, you know, like, thing that is not like everyone else. And she yeah. has like a, a disability, physical disability. Look at her go and own the skill that she's working on. That is her confidence. Yeah, That's exactly. Crazy. Yeah. Exactly. So there's so many different steps to take and you got to find what works for you and trial and error. It's, it's trying things and seeing yeah. what is best for you. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have learning disabilities, but I'm not letting it stop me from getting my degree. No, Good for you. Yeah. I love that. Yes. Well, those are all the questions I had. Yay! Perfect timing. Um, I do have to run now. Okay. But this was amazing. Thank you so oh, yeah, much. I'm for so glad you liked it. <laughs> this was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, know, you so I much. Like, Instagram, I like, stalked your Instagram last night. I was like, oh my God, I hope I like live up to her standards. <laughs> oh my God. You are so sweet. I'm so honored that you had me on your show. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate Absolutely. it.